So today guys, we are at the Rosen Inn. Liam, are you excited? Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it. We've never stayed here before, so it'd be interesting to see what it's like. 100% totally agree. I have been wanting to stay here for such a long time and I'm so glad we are finally here. Honestly, I've been wanting to stay at this hotel for such a long time. This is one of the more value resort hotels off-site, but it's absolutely brilliant because you get free parking, you get no resort fees. Free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi, which is honestly really good. Let's show you our room. We've actually already checked into this hotel. We know what our room looks like. So actually, let's check in, see what it's like. And actually, just in the distance, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you'll see there's the Aventura. That's where I stayed in March. Amazing hotel. I'm honestly, I'm loving being so close to Universal. So our room number is 624. And we've already actually been in the room, so we actually already know what it's like. That's the only thing, actually. Just quickly do that again, Liam, because that's actually a good shout. The only thing I will say, guys, is be careful, because you know how some doors, they've got like, um, I don't know, they've got like, you basically can't close it quick for some reason we keep hitting the door off this it's uh, it's it's quite close but this is our room we've got a double room we've actually got two beds <laughs> which is a bonus so i'm gonna have this bed Liam's gonna have this one we've just had our cases out obviously for as you know we're going on the cruise tomorrow obviously you guys have probably already seen them vlogs but yeah we're going on the cruise tomorrow so we're just getting things sorted because we're not planning on taking our big cases we're going to leave these in the car and we're just going to take our hand luggage cases where's my other hand luggage case oh it's behind Liam. it's there so we're just going to take our hand luggage cases but anyway let's show the room so you've got a safe which we've used already obviously like i said you've got the two beds our view is it actually is this international drive lane this will be international drive won't it so you've got international drive and honestly if you if you've not been to florida before international drive is where it's all at that's where most of your restaurants are especially more of your affordable dining restaurants as well you're gonna have ihop on there you can come on liam help us out with these restaurants burger you're gonna have king, burger king KFC. mcdonald's kfc's and um, you'll probably have golden corrals denny's. denny's you know what i am loving this desk this is the best desk ever like honestly i'm not joking this beats disney for like workspace because i'm just going to sit there we've, we're going to be boarding the ship from 12 a.m and this is an hour drive from the cruise so i'm actually just going to sit there and edit tomorrow i'm going to spend three hours just getting all my work done we've got a tv we've got loads of drawer space more wardrobe space here there's a big inside yeah it's no right size inside oh god uh coffee making facilities you've got mr coffee machine you've got some blended coffee uh, a door is this bath mat will be the bath mat won't it you've got a microwave which is amazing a fridge let's see how big the fridge is the fridge is a really good size which is awesome and then behind me we have the bathroom and there's me in the mirror got a sink here oh i've actually got a sink on the outside which is awesome so say like someone's in the toilet or he's ha or they're having a bath you've obviously got an option of the sink you've got a toilet with some towels you've got um a shower curtain and then you've got a bathtub and that's a good size bathtub that's bigger than the one that we actually had at animal kingdom lodge so that's really really good and you know what i'm like guys i'll tell you if a hotel's not very good or if you know if it's a little bit worse for wearing stuff and this hotel honestly me and Liam were just talking about this me and but me and Liam have both said we would quite happily spend two weeks here if we were going to do a more affordable trip or a trip where we weren't going to be staying on site this is where it would be we're staying at Rosen Inn closest to Universal there's quite a few Rosen Inns this is the one closest to Universal I've been told it's a 10 minute 10 minute walk we are actually going to be walking over at Universal so stay tuned in this vlog because we're actually going to head over there we were going to be doing Hollywood Studios and we wouldn't usually do Universal this early into the series i think we both just fancy it we're both here aren't we it's just over the road actually quick one asked asked everyone on instagram as well what you guys wanted and everyone has more or less said let's head to universal just for a little bit of a switch up so yeah we're going to do universal liam what are you most excited about with universal definitely hagrid i mean we might not get on it but it would just be amazing to be back in harry potter again Oh my God, honestly, Liam, you're going to love Velocicoaster. You're going to love Hagrid. Oh my God, I'm so excited. But anyway, guys, if you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dalamo. And if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. And then Liam, what are we doing now? Go to Universal. Yeah, let's head to Universal, guys. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? 
Oh my god, I feel like Tim Tracker, me and Liam were just like, this is where Tim always starts his vlogs. We've actually brought the car, so we've actually upgraded my annual pass, annual pass, annual pass, annual pass, get the words out to him, I'm still jet lagged, annual pass to a pre uh, preferred, I was going to say premier, preferred pass, so it basically means now we get free parking, and it just made sense guys, honestly it did, because we were going to come here a few, off, a few times, and there was just no point paying for the park when it's $27 a go when we can just have the preferred pass and just be, you know, park as much as we want. And I said to Liam, now because we've got the preferred pass and we've got the car, we could just rock up on an evening and just, you know, come at, come at whatever time. And this is new for me because I've actually never came from this side of Universal before. Obviously, usually it's either down past Lowe's Royal Pacific or we're on site. So. I've never actually been in this way, it's like, it's, it's like alien to me. But Liam, we are in Universal. I know, it's so exciting. I can't believe we're actually here, you know. I know, we didn't plan it either, so it's just very nice to just be like, oh, we're here. Well, it was actually you guys that actually told us to come here, to be honest. Uh, we, do you know what? We had no plans today. Do you know, honestly, all day, like Connor, my family, probably Liam's family, all you guys have been saying, oh, I wonder what you're doing today. And we've been like, we don't have a clue. So I'm glad you have decided for us. Oh my God, it is so good to be back, isn't it? It's weird, right? Liam had said yesterday that he calls Disney home. And I said to him before, this is where it's at for me. Every time I come here, I get this like warm and fuzzy feeling. And this is where it all began for me. Like the whole love of Florida and just everything. It's just, yeah. yeah. And Liam's actually won the lanyard, aren't you? Because he's got the 14 day ticket. He hasn't got the annual pass. But what is it with yours? It's like- it's just paper, so it might get ruined if it's got more surrounds. Yeah. So Liam's currently looking at the lanyards. Is there any ones that you're looking for specifically? No, no, just to see what's available. You could maybe. Uh, oh my god, of anything, the show. <gasps> Velocicoaster lanyard. Oh my god, I want it. Oh, that is. Oh, Kong. That. Oh, that's Kong, yeah. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so someone's mixed it up. Oh, that is lovely. Oh my god, we're going to be doing Velocicoaster today. I can't, honestly, I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. And guys, even I'm getting the Jurassic Park lanyard. Well, it's Velocicoaster. <gasps> so good. So Liam has just had his first glimpse of Velocicoaster. It looks epic. I cannot wait, honestly. I am so excited for I this ride. I could not wait to go on this ride. We've been watching it being built through like other YouTube channels for so long, and now to actually see it in person, oh, it just looks, it, it looks amazing. Yeah, well, I'm so excited. I've done it quite a few times, and I know like he's just gonna love it, so yeah. But we're actually not gonna go on that first, we're actually gonna go on Hagrid first. I don't know, we're gonna see what, we're gonna see how we can gauge it, but we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely gonna do Hagrid in Velocicoaster at night. Liam's literally just said the sweetest thing. We're currently in Hogsmeade, and he was like, he, he's just he's just so happy to be back. Like, how does it feel right now, Liam? Overwhelming. Just to be back after five years is just, oh, it's amazing. And I said to Liam, I really want a butter beer, but I'm not waiting. Look at these queues. These queues are crazy. I'm just not doing it. Honestly, I just really don't want to wait in a queue like this. So before we go on to Hagrid's, we're actually going to have some lunch because me and Liam have barely eaten today. And we're actually going to be eating at the three broomsticks. And this is kind of the same as the Leaky Cauldron in Universal, the main park. And to be honest, oh my God, the shepherd's pie with a garden salad sounds right up my street right now. Do you know what as well? The fish and chips sounds good as well. Oof, what are you thinking? I was just talking about having a fish and chips. Fish and chips. Right, let's go in. And just a quick one as well, guys. If you're wondering about the menu, then literally as you come around to the tills, they actually have them in the window, so they have the options. So you've got the shepherd's pie there. You've got the great feast. You've got the great feast salad, fish and chips. Yeah, it's all here basically for you to, to see what you want. So Liam, what did you order? The fish and chips platter. Ooh. That looks like British fish and chips. And we've got the nicest view ever. Let me stand up and show you. So we've actually got like this little booth here. I'll, I'll just go back. And it's really nice. And look at this view. 
Oh my god, it's so good, man. This is so nice, so nice. It is very warm though. It's a very hot and humid day in Universal Studios, and Liam is chuffed because, like I say, he got the uh, he got the cup of water. Oh, I think I look like a right mess right now. I look absolutely atrocious. <laughs> but you are watching my channel, <laughs> you know, you know, there's no, uh, there's no dolling up here. <laughs> um, gosh, why have I got all these lanyards? Obviously, I bought, I bought another lanyard, didn't I? And for some reason, the lanyard is attached to me. It's actually ripping me top out. Oh my god, I don't want that. I still can't get over this salad. Do you know Con's mum would love this salad? She's a salad fiend. She loves a good salad. Let's have a try. I th is this? This must be turkey, I think. Oh, that's so good. So nice. What I'm, what I'm really chuffed about with this as well is there's not a load of dressing on it. It's quite like dressing, not dressing heavy. Right, so I got the fish and chips, the classic British fish and chips. I'm gonna go for a taste test, here we go. Mm. That is top notch, that is good quality. What does the fish taste like? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I've just said. Guys, if you didn't have it just... tastes of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> oh guys, it's now that time we are gonna do Hagrid's. Are you ready for Hagrid's? Yes, I cannot wait. <laughs> Finally, so it's rising. After, after how many years? 2019. Yeah, we did it in 2019. 2019, because I remember I did it with my brother in 2019 and literally I cried. I actually cried the first time I went on this, so so yeah. It's it's just honestly, it's unbelievable. I don't know what it is, it's just like a mixture of emotions. It's adrenaline rush, it's everything. Honestly, I love it. We're gonna go to the lockers, so we need to put our stuff in the lockers first. But anyway, guys, let's do this. Oh, look at it, I am so excited. Liam's blown away. <laughs> look at it. We actually can't vlog on the ride, guys, because you can't film on any of the Universal rides. But I'll obviously film all the queue and, and stuff until we get to it, and then... Amazing. Wow. Is it better than what you thought it would look like? It looks visually stunning. It does, doesn't it? Wow. I would honestly say this is still one of the most popular rides at Universal. Even when I went on it in 2019, it was really, really busy. And now, even today, it's 105 minutes. That's, you know, big... You know, a big queue and my camera steaming up because of the humidity. And it's always when you get to this bit when you know you're not that far from the ride. Are you excited, Liam? I'm very excited. Right, guys, we're going to shoot and we'll see you after the ride. <laughs> Liam, your reaction? Speechless. Honestly. That is, that is my new favourite ride in Orlando. It's unbelievable, that is, isn't it? Honestly, this just, stuff, yeah. The thrill of it is just out of this world, honestly. Yeah, it, it made me cry the first time, and I think it was because we queued for hours for it, and then we got on it, and it was just like, wow, honestly. wow. It's like more than what you expected oh, to be. 100%. Yeah, we've got Velocicoaster next. God help us. <laughs> I suppose this is it. It's time to ride a Velocicoaster again. And I know Liam's a bit like, oh my God, I don't know what to expect. Currently 60 minute queue as well. Bless Liam, he's so excited, man. It's so nice to see him so happy. Do you know, honestly, he's been wanting to come here for absolute ages and just seeing it, oof, and just seeing him so happy. Look, guys, the movie has came out today as we're riding this. Honestly, oh, it's unreal, unreal. And if any is are remotely wondering how I'm feeling right now, Oh, honestly, I've done this right about seven or eight times now, and I always still feel a bit like a bit wobbly. I'll be fine. I think once I'm on it, I'll be fine. It's just that thing of like, I don't know. It's just like I think all the worst things before I go on. Liam, quick one before we put the camera away. How are you feeling? I'm just put excited. You're gonna be fine. What's the worst that can happen then? <laughs> and on that note, I'll see you after the ride. How did you fight that? Incredible. It's so good. Isn't it? Like you literally feel like you're coming off your chair. It is so good. In a good way though. Well actually, how do you feel like you're coming off in a good way? It's like you're in tight. Yeah, oh yeah, you're secure. But like the air time you get is just unbelievable. Like, mm. oh, it's such a good ride. Highly recommend it. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very fast. And at points you probably won't even know where you are. <laughs> and at points you'll want to close your eyes. We, uh, I did a naughty thing. I put us back row. It's actually sick though. I know, yeah. So, mate, the first time me and Nathan rode it, we were back row. 
and it was like incredible and I literally in the bloke was like he, he, we were right at the front and I said to him is there any chance we could sit at the back and he's like yeah get your cell away so we're straight at the back Liam was saying it is so humid so I'm dripping I, I can yeah, feel yeah. I can feel it running down my back sorry for the uh, too much info but it's so, so nice this is the hottest night it's been definitely what temperature is it it says it's 26 but I don't know how true no. that is it feels a lot warmer than 26 yeah, it's humid to see it if there's no air. I just want to quickly vlog this because it's crazy. This is the queue for the midnight showing of Jurassic World and they've actually got showings from like 12 o'clock, 1am, 2am, 3am, 4am, there's one at 7.30am. I have never seen, can you imagine at home our sinners being open at like 1 in the morning? Like I don't think they even do that for like Avengers and stuff. It's unreal. You can see the queue, look people, someone's got a Jurassic Park. Um, like duvet cover over there it's unbelievable they really take it next level out here and this is a really good cinema as well I really wished we were we didn't we weren't going on that cruise but well, actually no I'm glad we're going on the cruise but it would be nice to go and see the midnight showing but one it'll be rammed and secondly when I could but um, we'll see it before before the end of next week so excited amazing being here isn't it on launch day in actual Universal Studios just yeah unreal and guys, that is it. We have spent a night in... I was going to say Radisson Blue there. <laughs> We've spent, we don't want to be at Radisson Blue again. No, we have just spent a night in the Rose and in Liam. Thoughts? Good. Yeah. Really enjoy comfy stay. Also, what I will say about the Rose and in is there was an amazing shop. We've just got... What did we just buy? We've just got a... Not a slushy. An icy. I've just bought an icy. What did you buy, Liam? You a bought soap. a... Yeah, well, it was a, it was like a pre-packaged soap probably pre-packed in the 80s and again in regards to how much can you do with florida in a two-week trip we are we are doing very well and we're not killing ourselves either we're not like running around and stuff we've done like seven or eight rides at disney we've done the two biggest rides here we're actually taking a couple of days away from universal so we're going to head back to disney so in the next vlog we're going to be actually in your next vlog we're going to actually be right now actually we're heading towards the cruise but the cruise vlogs have already been out but when when we come back off this one so the next vlog for you guys is we're heading to art of animation and we're really really excited for art of animation art of animation it, it's what i've never stayed there before liam's never stayed there before we can't wait to use the skyliner can't we we just literally can't wait to get on that and just yeah explore more of disney and i don't really know which theme park we're going to be doing next but obviously we'll let you know in the next video but anyway guys on that note if you've liked this video make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button i just want to say a huge thank you to my patreon members patreon members get access to early vlogs and things like that if you'd be interested in patreon the link is below and make sure you tune back into the next vlog where we'll be checking into vault of animation we're in a mermaid room and we'll be using the skyliner and heading back to disney world thank you so much for the support guys have an amazing day right now we're actually heading on a cruise so we're getting mega excited and i will see you soon guys bye see you bye and now it's time for frozen ever after and is liam gonna get the pin wow oh my god it's unbelievable but we've just got off a cosmic rewind liam what was your thoughts absolutely oh my god i am a massive coconut fan That is incredible.